Hi, this is Paolo from the MB Academy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create bases like the ones in the track Tape Pack by Ulterior Motive. So, this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset, you can become a member of Preset Pass. Link is in the description. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch and the first thing we're going to be creating is the sub. The two notes that we're going to be playing is D sharp and G sharp. So to begin, we're going to create our shape. So let's click into this button to head over to the wavetable editor. We're going to add a harmonic on bin number one. And then we're going to add another one on bin number three. What we are aiming for is to create kind of a square waveform. So we're going to add another one on bin number five. Good enough. And now we can go into the effects, add a bit of distortion. Add some chorus, but change the low pass filter to high pass filter to just affect the upper harmonics. Let's bring the mix down. And we're going to add some gain with a compressor. And now we have a pretty powerful sub. One thing to add is just a bit of movement to create kind of an 808 type of envelope. So we're going to bring sustain down. Add a bit of release. And then we're going to add a transient into the sound by mapping an LFO into the course pitch of oscillator A. And instead of having that movement, we're going to hold shift and all, click on the modulation and create a short falling shape on LFO number one like this, set on envelope. And now we have a cool attack into the sub. If you want a less aggressive attack, you can always change LFO number one and its shape. In this case, I'm going to leave it like that. So now let's jump into the next sound of this riff, which sounds like this. So here I have another patch. The two notes that we're going to be playing is D sharp and F sharp. But there's something special about these notes, and that is that they have a bit of pitch bending. So they have a falling movement like this. And so you have to automate the pitch bend wheel on your DAW. In this case, this is how I made it. Now let's go back into Serum. And we need to change the waveform that creates this sound. So once again, let's click on this button to go into the wavetable editor. And instead of having a harmonic on bin number one, we're going to add it on bin number two. So we have a higher harmonic. We're also going to add one on bin number five. And you should kind of have a shape like this. You can always play with the different mixes of the harmonics to get a special type of tonality. Next, we're going to add some unison. And this is going to create the movement into the sound. The secret is to head over to the global tab and bring the width of the unison all the way down. So now this unison works as if we were to have a duplicated of this waveform and the detune of as the distance in pitch between these two waveforms. And if you know a little bit about Reese basses, you know that that movement depends highly on the detune. So before we dial that in, let's go into the effects section. And let's add some gain with a compressor. We can add something like hyper to make our sound wider since it's gonna go on top of the other patches. And the way you can make this sound your own is you can head over to the harmonics and edit them. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and just use the two harmonics that create the sound. We're going to keep the unison in 38. And now let's play this in context. Hey. 
And so that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Once again, if you want this preset and the project file, you can become a member of the preset pass subscription. Link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.